Arkansas quarterback K.J. Jefferson had six total touchdowns in their one-point loss to Ole Miss yesterday. And I want to take a few minutes and just break down what he was able to do and, and just look at some film and talk about why he was able to have so much success against Ole Miss's uh, defense. And this was his best game by far that he's had as a Razorback as a whole. And it's not really he's not really getting a lot of publicity about it. And so um, I want to just break it down a little bit and, and, and talk about what he was able to do so well. And uh, and the broadcast there said that they talked a lot about Matt Corral. And rightfully so. He did a, he had a, he had a good game in his own right. But K.J. Jefferson... Uh, was unstoppable yesterday, throwing the ball, uh, running the ball, and then throwing the ball at the end of the game, right? Deep throw after deep throw. But he also showed a lot of just, just composure and was calm in the pocket, especially at the end with so much chaos, right? Literally that last drive they had to to uh, to get within one point when they, when they went for two, that last drive was an awesome drive by KJ. It's really showed his growth as a passer and his experience these past, what, four or five games that's been able to, I think, really help him mature as a passer. You saw it yesterday. So, KJ Jefferson was 25-35, 326 yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception. Also had 80, what is that, 85 yards on the ground for three touchdowns. So we're going to look at just some of his passing plays first. And the passing game really got going at the end of the third quarter whenever they hit Trayvon Burks on those two deep balls back-to-back. From then on out, it was passing, passing, passing. Before that, it was some, some small type, some small passes here and there, a lot of KJ running. And so we're going to watch – some of his passes first. Then we're going to go through the last drive because a really impressive last drive that they had. I know it was a heartbreaking way to lose the end, but an impressive last drive to have to, to, to go there. And then we're going to watch some of his rushing plays as well because a pretty phenomenal rushing a rushing attack yesterday from Kate, from the whole offense, obviously, but this is obviously talking about KJ Jefferson and some really awesome runs. Just some football moves, right? You saw KJ being KJ, just being a football player. You saw him calm and composed in the pocket, making good balls downfield. Get the ball to Burks, your number one receiver. Just give him a chance. That's all you need to do. Great job by KJ. And the offensive line played fantastic. You can tell that that they took the loss to Georgia last week personal, right? And so great game by by the offensive line. They, they had, what, 600-something yards, 326 yards passing, 350 yards on the ground. So, wow. Uh, outstanding job by the offense. And so we're just going to break down KJ Jefferson. But before we do, just want to encourage you all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Boom. Okay, so again, just to recap, we're going to look at KJ's some of his passes, then we're going to go through that last drive and some of his rushing plays as well. Let's get into it. So I want to start with this play for a few reasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the, the first catch of the day for uh, Trayvon Burks. And this is with like three minutes left in the third quarter. Just a bomb here, right? So there's nothing really to break down except, hey, when you got a guy like Burks, sometimes you just got to give him a shot. And you see back-to-back -back plays, Jefferson just gives his guy a shot. When you have potentially the best receiver in the SEC or the nation, uh, you just give your guy a shot, right? So Trayvon Burks, again, no catches to this point. The, the, the passing game has, has been okay up to this point. There's a lot of the running game going on. This is when you see the passing game take off. It's 31-24, three minutes left in third quarter. It's kind of crazy to, to, to think about Arkansas almost gained 30 points in the last, in the next, what, 18 minutes. So anyways, uh, again, not a lot to break down, but hey, if you're KJ Jefferson and you have a receiver like Burks, just do this. He can make catches like this. Boom, do that. Hell of a catch. Great job by Burks. Again, then we're about to watch another play of him going up and get it. So takeaways for Jefferson. You got a guy like Burks. Hey, he is always, uh, there's always potential there. He's never not, uh, he's never fully covered, right? Let's go ahead and watch this next play as well. So basically the exact same play that we saw last, uh, the previous play, right? Um, I think there may have been a fake handoff here, but you got Burks 101. Yes, it's off coverage. Doesn't matter. He's the best receiver, best player on the field. Throw it up, let him go get it. This is a hell of a catch, too. So good job by Jefferson. Going the whole way. Throw it up for him. Let's watch this. Boom. High points the ball. Fantastic catch. Good job by Jefferson. Just to give him a chance, right? That's that's 50% of the quarterback's job. Just give your guy a chance. When you have a guy like Burks, that's all you got to do. Great job. Great ball. Great catch by Burks. And Burks went on to have seven catches for a buck 36 in a touchdown after having no catches, I believe, until three-ish minutes in the, uh, in the third quarter. Great catch there. Gets in, inside the one, and then they're eventually able to score. So about 11 minutes left in the game right here. Right under 12 minutes, actually. 38-31 Ole Miss. And again, KJ taking a shot deep. Like I said, KJ, towards the end of the game, this is when the passing game really came alive. He's going to hit his receiver right here. 84, I believe. The, the, the name escapes me. I apologize, Arkansas fans. Is it Thompson? I believe so. But anyways... Runs a good, just a seam route here. And again, uh, like I've talked about earlier in the video, great job of the offensive line. KJ kind of pauses for a second. You see Tom Brady do that. I, I say that again in this video, but you see Tom Brady kind of pause for a second. Good arm strength. Delivers the ball downfield. Accurate ball. Great coverage. Hell of a catch. Just a good, 
just A plus all around in this throw, right? KJ has a great throw. He's patient, steps up in the pocket, accurate throw, great catch, and then the offensive line with uh, with an A plus performance in that play as well. So here's a touchdown pass to Trey Knox here, and it was really good to see Knox get involved today. Uh, but good play design, very creative example of a creative play call. Get Jefferson out in the pocket, able to sit him down, and watch how everyone comes in uh, towards the running back right here. We'll watch it briefly. Boom, they stop. Coming here for a runner. Oh, we got, okay, here, here, manned up with Burks. And he, Jefferson does a good job seeing DB or the, the defender for Ole Miss coming down to the, the flat guy. Knox just sits behind him. Touchdown pass there. Really creative play, and again, good to see Knox get involved. And this put the game 24-21. Arkansas is down by three at this point. But a good job by Jefferson. Uh, good play design there. So a great example of Jefferson in the pass game being patient and, again, Let's give some love to the offensive line. Now, yes, I think only three come initially, so they're dropping eight. And they have kind of like a spy guy here in Jefferson. Again, Jefferson is patient. Half roll, waits for things to come, doesn't force anything, keeps looking downfield, looking downfield. And now you got some guys coming open, right? Keeps his eyes downfield. He's about to throw it right now. Good ball by Jefferson here. Boom, that was a good play to get a first down, what, 15-ish yards or so. But again, good patience by Jefferson. Great job by offensive lineman, and then a good job by Jefferson to go through these progressions, not force anything, not even run too early, uh, and deliver a good ball downfield. So here's the first play of the last drive of the game. This is the drive that uh, KJ let him down and score, but this is the first play. And I thought this was this this drive right here shows already just how much KJ has been able to develop and grow as a passer. Um, did a good job in the pocket, stayed composed, and delivered a lot of good balls here. So we're going to see. Only three guys come. KJ does a good job in the pocket, being patient, able to throw a strike for a big first down here. And again, this drive itself w w was uh, just, just a really, really good example of KJ's growth. And this is just a pretty phenomenal drive back on KJ's part. So you see in the pocket, stand still. Ball is coming out now, right? There's a hole right here. Good hole shot. Drive down the field. Able to pick up a big, what, that 20-ish yards and first and 10 there or with about a minute left in the game as they were driving. So 30 seconds left in the game at this point. It's a first and 10. We're going to see KJ roll out, buying some time, eyes downfield, and watch this decisive throw. He sees this guy come open, delivers decisively, arcs us two timeouts, so you can use him of the field. Good smart play by KJ. Rolls out, eyes downfield, and then right when he sees the guy come open, boom, not wasting, get the ball out. That's a pretty tough throw, too, kind of falling away on the run, a guy in your face, uh, put some good zip on the ball. That's a big first down there uh, to get them about, what, the 30-ish yard line or so. Uh, good job by KJ, eyes downfield, uh, remaining patient even as you're rolling out. So 14 seconds in the game, second and three, and this is a great pocket awareness by KJ here. So they bring four, have a delayed blitz. He starts to roll, then watch him step up real quick before the DN. Nice movement right there. Wow, that's impressive athleticism. Sorry. Uh, watch him step up. Oops, steps up just enough, able to get the ball out. Ends up being a big first down right there. Boom. Good job by KJ. Again, pocket awareness. Remember, there's 14 seconds left in the game at the start of this play. So that's just a good example of keeping your calm and being composed in a very tense pressure situation. So here was the last, uh, here's the touchdown before the two-point conversion. And again, I'm not going to show the two-point conversion. But again, one second left. Great uh, composure and better be calm in the pocket. And then watch the ball placement here, right? Good job in the pocket. Compose. Ball placement. Throws it high where his guy can go get it. He knows he's got a big, tall receiver to throw it to. Good ball placement for a touchdown. Hell of a throw. Just a hell of a game for KJ Jefferson. It's really a shame. I hate that they lost, but it's really a shame that he's not getting more publicity and kind of more recognition after a game like this. But great throw there. Good ball placement by KJ in that last touchdown. So here's KJ being KJ. This is a touchdown to tie it up 31-31. And if I had to pick one play of what defines KJ Jefferson, it's jumping from the three or four yard line into the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, just KJ taking over right here, being a better athlete than anyone else, rolls out here. Again, he sees it. He's going for it. He's not trying to give the ball to someone else. He's taking it himself. Watch this. Jumps. Look at that. Jumps from the five-ish yard line. Makes it to the end zone. I mean, that, that, that's 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 a poster right there, right? That's, that's someone's wallpaper. Great job by Jefferson for a touchdown there. That is awesome. Again, anyone that's watched this show before has heard me say it. KJ Jefferson is your definition of a football player, uh, and that's exactly what he showed on that play. So here's KJ's first touchdown of the game, and the first touchdown just of the game in general, about four minutes left in the game. and It was almost a scoreless first quarter, and then the, the fireworks really started. Uh, so 
Fake sweep here. Great job by the offensive line. They did a fantastic job the entire game. I don't even know if KJ gets touched here. Boom. Hits the hole right here. Look, eyes running back, eyes running back, eyes running back. Both both of these guys are like, I'm screwed. I'm screwed, right? And then good job blocking over here. KJ gets up field. Does he get touched? Nope. Touchdown for KJ. Great job there. Great way for Arkansas to start the game. And I, I know I don't want to hark on the loss, but you have to be excited how the offensive offense responded from from last week, especially the offensive line in the run game. So a great start to the game by, by, by KJ. And KJ did a lot of uh, running early in the game and quick stuff before they you know start throwing a bit more downfield. But good play design by Browse here. We're going to see the running back come out of the backfield. Cook QB draw comes up here, hits it hard for the first down here, right? Able to get up field, get through the hole, and then boom, look at that. Hasn't been touched yet. Let's see, he doesn't get touched until... What, eight yards downfield, puts his head down, gets an extra few yards for a first down. So good job getting started for KJ. He had uh, several solid runs throughout the game here. So again, tough loss yesterday, but when you score 51 points offensively from an offensive standpoint, great game. You have over 650-something yards of total offense. So good job by KJ, right? Calm and composed, was able to get the ball to his number one receiver and did damage on the ground. I think this overall great performance by KJ and just wanted to to spotlight it, not spotlight it, spotlight it uh, for lack of better terms because it was such a good performance and for some reason it's going under the radar a bit. But I wanted from you, what do you think about KJ Jefferson's performance? Let me know in the comments below. Big game against Auburn this coming up week. Any comments are welcome. Let us know below. We'll see you next time on the KJ Jefferson preview uh, of the game against Auburn coming up.